So I'll be putting my needle this place and I'll be using my measuring tip to measure it round to get the measurement. So I got about 41 inches so I'll add 2 inches to it for overlapping. So I've cut out my wire already and I'll put it and I'll start sewing it with my needle and fishing line. You can sew with needle and thread if it's thread you have. So this is the way I'll be sewing it. Just watch and see what I am doing. So this is how I'll keep doing it until I get to the end. So I will now overlap it with the other wire from this other side this way. So it's not so difficult this. So you need to keep watching because uh, there are so many things I need to do in this design. So I'm tying it up now. I'll be covering this with two things. My bias and cinnamon. You know some people cannot cover with cinnamon. They don't know how to cut cinnamon. So this is the first bias I'll be using to cover up. I'll apply my gum and I'll allow it to dry a bit for like 10 seconds or so. So I'll use it to start covering up from this side. The wire ended. Anywhere the wire ended will be the back side of the hat. Please take note, not the front side. This is always the back. So, this is what I'll keep doing until I go round, overlap it to where I started. So, next is my cinnamon. This is my cinnamon, a yard of cinnamon, but I won't use everything. Just watch the way I will be doing it. See the way I folded it in a triangular form? So, after this, you cut out with your scissors. If you don't do this this way and just cut it out, the normal straight method, it cannot go round straight in your heart. Please take note of this. This is the correct way of cutting cinnamon if you want to use it for any design. Or if you want to use it um, as a bias so it, this thing I did is um, cutting in a bias form so I measured out like four inches hope you can see it so I'm just trying to mark it out to so I've marked it out and I've cut it out so I'll be folding it in this way just the way your bias is when you used to buy it you can see the way i'm folding it inside two equal parts this way so i'll cut out this ending can you see the way i folded it hope you saw it properly so, I'll still apply my gum and allow it to dry a bit. So, I'll still start from the back as well. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So, this is how you keep doing until you go around properly. It's the remaining one. I'll still use it to overlap this other one. 
So this is it. There's nothing so difficult about it. When you are done, you cut out the excess tsunami. So you make sure you press and make it to be in order the way it is meant to. See you in my next video. So we'll be learning how to do the design at the front in my next video. I'll be dropping a link on how I started this hat if you've not really watched it in my comment section or in the description box. Please do well to subscribe to my channel if you've not to get notified when I post.